humble beginnings of Scandia. This was our original brewing system, the first year Dog Fish Head was in business. This was the only piece of equipment that we made here. This is our original bottling line. It took uh, two of us 10 hours to do 100 cases of beer on this. Very painful way of bottling beer. Uh, and that's our original kegging equipment that came out of our 19. So we figured, okay, we'll start with a little tiny brewery in our restaurant. And if we can prove that we can make interesting, you know, exciting beer recipes, we'll expand into distributing our beer once we get them to feed, feed under us on, in the restaurant. It's also kind of the go-to brewery for ancient beer discoveries. Uh, we do, we work with molecular archaeologists when they go around the world and, and, and visit dig sites, they bring back, you know, crockery that has residue on it. They can now analyze on a molecular level the residue found in tombs and stuff. So they've come to us now as the brewery when they have an ancient discovery. Uh, we do a beer called Midas Touch that's based on molecular evidence found in the tomb of King Midas in Turkey, 2700 year old tomb. Uh, that beverage is made with saffron, thyme, honey, and grapes. This is a beer we did today called Theobroma. Uh, and it's basically the world's oldest known uh, cocoa recipe. So long before humans were eating chocolate, they were making cocoa drinks. And that saying, drunk as a monkey, actually comes from monkeys being in, uh, finding cocoa plants that got wet, yeast got on them, and the liquid in the cocoa pods fermented. The monkeys drank it and got drunk. Uh, so the oldest known drink uh, was uh, over 2,000 year old discovery, and it's made with uh, ancho chilies, so a pepper, uh, uh, cocoa nibs, cocoa powder, and honey. So that goes in this barrel. You know, but our, our philosophy is you have to support the community that supports you. And, you know, we look at ourselves as part of a very long tradition. Before Prohibition, every town in America had at least one local brewery. And that local brewery was part of the local community. A person would go out and they'd stop at the bakery to get their bread, the butcher to get their meat, and the brewery to get the jug of beer to bring home. And so that's kind of the tradition that we want to be part of.